Hello and welcome to week 11 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and I'm going over some of the big games this week and predicting who wins and who loses. There were a lot of crazy games last week and we don't have many games to go over this week, but let's just get into it starting with the the number three ranked 3-0 Ohio State Buckeyes facing the 2-1 Maryland Terrapins. The Buckeyes had a win against Rutgers last week, 49-27. Maryland also had a big win against Penn State, 35-19. The Buckeyes offense has been rolling, averaging 46 points and over 500 yards a game. And Justin Fields leading that offense with 11 touchdowns and over 900 yards. On the other side, Talia Tagovailoa has 6 touchdowns and 4 interceptions on the year. Started off slow in his first game throwing 3 interceptions, but has gotten better each week. And this Maryland offense has actually been able to put up a lot of points the past couple weeks, 35 and 45 against Minnesota. Uh, while their offense has gotten better, their defense has struggled a lot, allowing 35 points a game, and I don't think it's going to be enough to topple Ohio State. I'm going to say Ohio State wins big, 56-24 to over the Terrapins. Now we have the number two ranked 7-0 Notre Dame Fighting Irish facing the 5-3 Boston College Eagles. Notre Dame had a huge win against Clemson last week, 47-40 to in double overtime. The Eagles also had a close win against Syracuse, 16-13. to and you can toss Notre Dame's win up to Clemson not having Trevor Lawrence, but I still think that they've proven that they are a playoff caliber team. They definitely surprised me last week, and especially with their offense putting 47 against one of the best defenses in the country, and they're also averaging 36 points a game. Their defense has also been really good this year, only allowing 14 points. They did give up 40 to Clemson, uh, but Boston College's defense has been solid as well this year, only allowing 24 points and 370 three yards on average a game. Uh, I do think this one could be kind of close, especially with Notre Dame coming off of a game like that, but I'm going to say Notre Dame wins big 38-17 to over the Eagles. Now we have the number nine ranked 6-1 and one Miami Hurricanes facing the 4-3 and three Virginia Tech Hokies. Miami had a close win against NC State last week, 44-41. to Virginia Tech had a close loss against Liberty, 38-35. to Miami's only loss has come from Clemson this year, but it was a big loss, 42-17. to And they've had a couple of close calls the past couple weeks. And Virginia Tech has has really been an on-and-off team this year. And I do think if, if there any of these games are going to be an upset, I think it's going to be this one. But I'm going to go with Miami on this one. I'm gonna, I think it's going to be a close 31-28 to game. But I do think this one could go either way. But I'm going to say Hurricanes win it 31-28. to now we have the 11th ranked 1-0 Oregon Ducks facing the 1-0 Washington Cougars. Oregon had a, had its first game and first win against Stanford, 35-14. And Washington State had a win against Oregon State, 38-28. And because both of these teams have only played one game this year, there's not a whole lot to go off of. But I think Oregon's offense is looking really good this year. I'm going to go with Oregon, 35-24 over the Cougars. Thank you for watching, and there weren't a whole lot of games to go over this week, but if you feel like there was a game I should have gone over, feel free to post those in the comments below. I will have a full list of my predictions for this week in the comments, so if you're interested, go check that out. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.